Hey everyone, what's up? This is Blaze. Welcome to the Fire Aura spell video. So I actually have to make this intro after I finish the episode because I originally thought that I was going to do the Aura and the Ifrit pet video in like one, but this one just took way too long and I decided to make it its own video. So this is the Furnace. Uh, we'll jump right into Pakal talking about the quest. So I hope you guys enjoy. Magician, you have surely seen the Astral Obelisks in three points. These are sacred to the moon the stars, and the sun. Long ago, the wisest mystics of Azteca divined the secrets of astral magic. They placed the teachings into the obelisks. To learn more about those ancient schools of magic, speak to Tesca Three Star. He is our current expert on astral magic. Okay, so Tesca is actually over here. I was looking at my other quest and got confused for a little bit, but uh, he's Greetings, right here. magician. Have you been stargazing of late? Uh, there's certain... Though they have been dormant for years, I believe that power still slumbers within the three astral school obelisks. The star school obelisk was the last to dwindle and go silent, and should be the easiest to revive. Spellbinders of old would wake the star obelisk by scattering stardust upon it. That might still work. The last measure of stardust was buried with the last of the star mystics, deep within the cenote. Go to the cenote and seek out the glimmering chamber. With luck, Wanadi Black Sky has not yet risen from his death sleep. Wanadi? Wait, is this the actual Wanadi quest? I don't remember. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. Because I have that one amazing video on my channel from way back when it was on my Life Wizard and I soloed, and I called it Soloing Wanadi the Turtle God. That's like, I don't know. <laughs> and somehow it got like a ton of views. Because, I mean, I guess it was getting one of the Astro Spells. I'm not sure if it was this one. It could be this one. It could be getting my Life Aura. Which, back then, was just the healing one. So, I guess we'll find out. If it is one Audi, well, makes this episode pretty interesting. Let's head over there. And uh, see where he is. Yeah, he's over Oh, I can't go that way. There's no way. Go around. Man, these guys get really close. Look at that. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get pulled. Are you kidding? Oh, if I was on the other side. Get some scrap iron while we wait. That is insane. They 100% want you to get pulled here. Oh my god. Whoa. That is so small of an area to go through. Okay, this is Wanadi the Turtle God. I know what it is. Wanadi, we're back. It's been a few years. The dreamless death sleep has ended. You will now witness the fall of nightmare. This is it. It's been a while, Wanadi, but we're back. We are back. Soloing Wanadi the Turtle God for our spells these guys are these guys are fire because i'll put in a mass prism all right let's do this Minati. it's time should i put in heals maybe but we didn't Woo! the big eighteen thousand. i see you all right we got fire dragon might as well just convert right away get that uh get that over See what one has got. Yeah, this was uh, quite the battle. Way back. My life wizard. <laughs> All for the ore. I mean, you actually have to do quite a bit to get the ores. It doesn't make it easy. Uh, we got this. And I might as well just buff the other meteor as well. Okay, Winati definitely needs a fame, but I kind of just want to blade this turn because we got a power pip. Don't want to waste my power pip on a fame. Even if we don't kill Winati on the first hit, it's okay because I need to kill the minions too. Because they'll just continue to do a lot of damage to me. 
Because this is a 3v1. Uh, do I need this? I have an Efree Summer, so I might want to hold on to it. I don't want to get rid of any of this. Because I feel like I might need it. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and faint. Alright, below 3,000. But I mean, they're pretty much out of fish. Well, I just got a few, but... Oh no, he's got more than a few. I thought he only had four pips. He's got more than four pips. Okay. Alright. We've got this. I think I'm going to remove this dragon because we have e -freet. We're going to blade with this and we're going to hit with dragon next. Unless Winati has something special cooked up. Let's see. Okay. Ooh. We're still 400. And we're taking what? Oh, it's only 62. Alright. Oh, I'm kind of scared of Winati for next turn. Kind of scared. Oh, I got that blade. But I can't risk it. I have to hit. I need to try to kill... Is it going to kill them, though? Two blades? I can't wait another turn. I have prisms, though. I have prisms. Of course. Well, Smokey, if there was any, ever a time that I needed you to heal, probably would be now. Soloing Winati. No, Winati, don't do it! What I knew he would do this! He's mean! Quit! Yes! Winati, you're so mean! Oh, thankfully I crit. That would have been horrible. We have 1,400 health to deal a lot of damage. Oh, man. Okay, we don't need two meteors. Time to just blade everything. We're going to blade. We're going to maybe use my... Uh, not aura. Bubble. At some point. For the amount of pips that he has, you know, 1400 health is, is manageable. We can do it. Just uh, keep blading and stuff. I don't need two of those. Okay. Yeah. I haven't even drawn my Efree yet. Yeah, I've used Human Club. Way better than Earthquake. Like, that was sad. No. Oh, ha, ha. This he might probably didn't even do that much. Come on. Like what? Max uh, 500? Okay, we have 500. Well, if he crits, then we're definitely going downhill. Quickly. We already are going downhill. Really quickly. You know, Smokey's asleep on the job. Boom. We got what we want. We need this now. We're going to faint. Then we're going to hit. 600. Yep, just do that. You know? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. I don't even think I need my bubble because how much health does he have? He still has like a lot. Twelve. Yeah. Maybe I do then. All right, we're gonna use this though. Basically, it comes down next turn. Am I gonna use my bubble or not? He doesn't have too many pips. Highly unlikely that he kills me with some kind of magical crit because he's a magical turtle. Okay, we got enough for you, free. I need this to kill. I. Need, but then he has enough for earthquake next. <laughs> All right, we're, we're hitting because we got meteor. Don't be the negative fifteen. Okay, good. We have Efreet next, so or not Efreet. We have meteor next. I mean, we can't use it next, but we have it. You know, 
available. One, two, three, and a faint. No crit, but probably still do not enough. Negative 90. Okay, I like the negative 90. It's good. We only have one hit. Alright, time to blade everything. Ooh, he passed. I mean, he can still earthquake, though. Which doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter. We have to just keep waiting. Alright, let's see how many earthquakes you actually have. Okay, that's better. They don't want you to get your auras. At least Winati doesn't want you to get them. He's like the guardian of the auras. We need this because if I don't and I don't kill, it's over. If he, if he earthquakes here, we're in really bad shape. But we have to risk it. We have to. This is my last hit. Maybe I shouldn't have discarded that uh, other meteor, but. Please, Winati. Please just. Winati, just. Come on. Come on, 3,000. I have literally everything. I have. Well, not everything, but. What? Oh. And you can't pour it in here. No one can pour it in here. All I have is blades. Oh my god, Vanati, you're so... 422 health? Please. Please. Yes! Please, just crit. Just crit through. I need this. Yes! 18 health? And then that is 10,000. Alright, that would have killed anyway. You find a pouch full of glimmering stardust dropped by Wanadi Black Sky. Time to leave this. Oh, uh, I think you mean Winati the Turtle God because he is definitely a god. All right, that was difficult. So you know you don't get your ore without struggling a lot. So that's exactly what that is: struggle to defeat Winati to get the aura. Motes of shimmering stardust surround you. Take it to three points and scatter it quickly before the Star School Obelisk. Will do. Worked hard for this one. <laughs> okay, where is it at? It's up here. You scatter the star dusk before the star obelisk. It permeates the stone, and you sense magical power growing within it. Can I use it yet? Oh, I can use it. So, furnace is one point. Might as well just grab it now. Learn it because I will be using this on the walkthrough on certain occasions. Because, I mean, even on my storm, I use Galvanic Field a lot. So, and then my life. I use I used to use Cycle of Life. Devotion, not really, but I did grab it just to have it. So, that's pretty cool. Got our Furnace Aura, which... We did the solo Winati, the turtle god, in order to get it. You have done well. Now, learn from the star obelisk. It has much to teach. Akal Redmask tells me he will study the sun obelisk and see what can be done. He will call to you when the time is come. Yep, so Pakal will call us back. He will call us back and we will do the uh, sharpen and potent eventually so i think that's level 86 i'm guessing 86 maybe 87 i feel like it's 86 though i mean 86 just seems like a good point to have that so yeah we'll be back 
to do sharpen and potent, which are essential. I'll be using sharpen a ton on this, but at least we have furnace now, so I can use that and throw some of those in. I'll probably put in like two or three uh, in the walkthrough, and uh, we'll have that. So we survived, we defeated Winati the Turtle God with 18 health left. Kind of crazy, but uh, we managed it. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, well, kind of side episode of the walkthrough of me just getting uh, the furnace card, then uh, go ahead and leave a like on this. Stay tuned for more wizard videos in the future. Subscribe so you know when those go up on the channel. I am going to be doing the Ifrit pet quest soon, so uh, look forward to that because I haven't gotten that one yet. That'll be a lot easier than this one was because it's... That's, I don't even, I'm trying to think where that is. Is that in Winter Tusk? Might be. I'm not sure. But we'll look into that in uh, a few days or so, and we'll do the E-Pre-Quest. So look forward to that. But uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you all next time.